simple spiral galaxy as what you once thought, but instead is classified as a barred spiral galaxy. The second finding is closely related to the first, because barred spiral galaxies don't have four major arms. They only have two. Each major arm extending from the pole of the central bar. So the old model showing four arms is now debunked. And now we find that the Milky Way galaxy has only two major radiating arms with a bunch of, with, with many smaller partial arms radiating from that. But guess what? I guess Spitzer discovered a lot of other things as well, which I'd like to talk about. One, it helped solve a centuries old riddle about one of the moons of Saturn. This moon is called Iapetus. Iapetus has this unique coloration pattern. It's part black and part white. And this is, has, has been a real riddle to a lot of astronomers for many centuries. It's this coloration pattern, which is quite unique. But why would it be this way? Recall that in this past summer, Spitzer discovered an enormous ring around Saturn. And this ring had escaped observation for so many years because it is so weak. It's made of ice and, and dust. Now, there's a couple of oddities about this ring. One, it is at an angle of 20 degrees off the axis of all the other rings of Saturn. It's also off the same axis as the moons of Saturn. The other curious thing about this, it travels in the opposite direction as all the other rings of Saturn and all the, other, all the moons of Saturn. So as it turns out, I, as the dust particles decay out of orbit and come towards Saturn, they smash into the surface of Iapetes like bugs on the windshield. So this dark dust is what accounts for the discoloration of the otherwise white surface of the moon, Iapetes. Mm -hmm. The Spencer Space Telescope has provided us with a starting point for rethinking the entire structure of our Milky Way galaxy. But of course, we're humble enough to understand that this is not going to be the last word on the subject. Just as early seafarers had to keep revising their maps of, the, of their world, so we too will be revising our models of the, of the Milky Way galaxy and the universe. Already, we are starting on new projects. In August of 2009, the European Space Agency launched the Herschel Infrared Space Observatory, which is much bigger than even Spitzer was. And just last month, NASA launched its latest infrared space observatory, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE. The eyes of these observatories will provide a great enhancement to what we already know because they observe the universe in uh, thousands of times greater resolution than the past observatories. We know that throughout history, that a nation's greatness is based on its history of exploration. So we will explore the galaxy and the universe, and these first tentative probes will lead the way. Thank you.